Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive line, the very basic Godzilla vs. Kong figures from Playmates Toys, well a handful of them let's say, the ones that I really wanted to get after checking out the brand new Godzilla vs. Kong movie which I absolutely loved. That movie rocked, just don't think about it too much, go in there and just have a good time. Don't even think about anything the humans are doing or why and when things occur. It doesn't really matter. It's just monsters punching each other. Yeah, and just as a heads up, I will probably offer some spoilers here and there just to kind of talk more about each figure. So just be warned. In all honesty, if you've not seen this movie, do not watch this. And then, yeah, but if you don't care, yeah, go for it. Also, in this more basic line, there are other figures, some of which they have released before, and other variations here and there of Godzilla and Kong. But based on the movie, again, these are the ones that I wanted. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Playmates toys, Godzilla vs. Kong. Just a handful of them. So we'll start off with Hong Kong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong Battle Kong. This is when he and Godzilla absolutely decimate Hong Kong, right? But they do so in such a colorful way. And this is what I really liked about these figures. Until I kind of pulled out King Kong and I was like, ah, the color doesn't go to the backside of him. Then it doesn't really go on the legs either. And it kind of goes just on the sides of him and a little blue beard goatee. I really wish they could have put a little bit more paint on this guy, let's be honest. But the colors for what's there is nice. It's different, it's a unique looking King Kong. Head swivels, the arms will go up in, in a nice fashion. For all intents and purposes of what these are for, promoting a movie, to have kids have toys, for us collectors to have some King Kong toys too at a cheap price, it's very basic articulation, although he does kind of have that wonky sort of Playmates Ninja Turtle leg right there where it'll hit the back. It's it's not the best. It does help him stand. It works for what it is, but I don't particularly like the articulation right there. And he does come with the Muto bone or bone or whatever you want to call it. And then the spike ancient scepter axe thing that Kong finds when he heads to hollow earth and i mean it's nice it could have had a little bit of blue on there see it's, it's only got one color you could have had the blue of godzilla spikes this guy is not painted the best he could have had just a little bit more to him that would have been really ideal but the one gimmicky thing about him let's say you know mecha godzilla comes in cracks him in the arm and you do get some removable battle damage which i mean <laughs> Doesn't look fantastic, but it is fun. And if you're a little kid playing with these things, yeah, you're going to have a blast. Look, I just decimated Kong's arm and his the sinew and all the muscle is showing. Yeah, it, it's okay for what it is. Next up is the Warbat. Now, this was the one along with another we're just going to get to in just a second. I was like, this is the one. Anytime you give me new types of monsters other than, let's say, Godzilla and Kong, yeah, definitely want the Warbat. And as you can see, he... He's got these very noticeable clips, but the sculpt on the guy is nice. Very snake-like, very bat-like, very war-like, I guess. I don't know. You can get him in some good poses. I like him for what he is. If this guy would have been like a total bendy wire type monster, that would have been awesome. He does have some jaw articulation as well. You see on the sides, these little clips right here. This is where the wings will go. I really wish the wings had a little bit more paint to them, to be honest. See, this is, you're getting the basic, basic, cheap priced figures, all right? So don't expect a whole heck of a lot, but in certain aspects, it would be nice, maybe for round two, right? You get some nice rotation out of the wings, get some flapping action to them, and for what this type of character is, yeah, it works, and most of all, it displays nicely. That's really where I'm going with this. And like Kong, you know, fighting him in the movie, you know what I mean, or he's getting help from one of the heave, just FYI. The Warbat 2 does have some battle damage. It's kind of a pain to get out. Kind of sped that up a little bit, just to be honest. But yeah, you can see yeah, he's got some red bone sinew tissue damage action. So it works for what it is. 
And it's cool. I like it. At least they give them something. Comes with one of the Osprey uh, vehicles. Nothing moves on it. It's just a total slug. But it is cool if you want to have the Warbat attack it and take now. I'm glad they give us a little tiny something or other to really take advantage of the monster's effects. Godzilla up next. This is the Hong Kong Godzilla battle, much like the Hong Kong King Kong, right? And he comes with a fire effect blast, but this is where the colors really shine. Godzilla definitely got the better treatment here. He's even got some clear plastic to him and it just rocks. Overall, he's covered head to toe in this purple blue paint. Love the spikes on him as it goes into the tail, the underside. It looks so much better than poor King Kong here. They could have really just splashed King Kong with the paint. They did not. So you know what? If they had to focus on one, I guess I'm glad they gave it to Godzilla. He's got some jaw rotation. He's got some arm rotation on both sides. Legs will go up and down. It kind of seems like the feet would swivel, right? Just a little bit. But I think in actuality, it's just where they assemble the figure. Much like the head. You think the head kind of whatever not? No, that's kind of a bummer. You kind of could push it down a little bit. It doesn't really stay, but it's not really head rotation. It's just assemblage and not very good assemblage, I guess you could say. The tail has a nice swivel to it. It's a separate piece in the package. You just kind of slip it on. This is cool. So you open the jaw and then he has the plasma blast fire nuclear effect, whatever you want to call it. And it pegs right into his mouth and it looks cool. I definitely like that. I'm glad they gave him that effect. That totally works for me now again like all the monsters they all have this little effect let's say the war bat who he did not fight in this movie but why not he can fight on my shelf the trick to the kind of getting these things off is a pain sometimes but you kind of have to slip your nail underneath or whatever he's got battle damage effect godzilla got messed up but it kind of resembles like you know mecha godzilla hitting him with the heat ray or something like that you get that real quick image where he's kind of fried on his chest if anything, right? And then getting it on, yeah, you might have some difficulty. They're not like puzzle pieces where they fit exactly, but for what it is, yeah, it works. And then you have the one that everyone saw last year in like a leaked photo, and then they, you know, they went wild. Oh, you're gonna get sued, you put the photo up, yada yada, no, no. But yeah, Mechagodzilla, spoilers, is in the movie, along with this heave vehicle, what is it, the Hollow Earth? all-terrain vehicle or whatever h-e-a-v but it's cool and i like again like the osprey you can have mecha godzilla hold this thing no it doesn't really happen in the movie and you can have him eat it it doesn't matter it's just cool it's cool that they gave him a little mini tiny vehicle that plays a big heavy role you can put it on kong's chest if you want but the details on the mecha godzilla are there they really sculpted the heck out of this this figure does not do the movie justice in terms of what Mecha Godzilla looks like. He looks amazing in the film. I absolutely love that scene. I like what they did with Ghidorah and how it's changed and everything else. I like the reds. I like the grays for this thing. Very simple. Very, very basic. You get some dry brush or paint. You want to do it yourself? Yeah, you can activate it. He does have a nice jaw to him. He does have a peg hole at the top of his mouth, which makes me think at one point or maybe another figure later down the road, yeah, he'll have his own plasma blast laser effect or something like that that'd be cool if he did come with one because then you could have Godzilla and him you know hashing it out that would be awesome hitting Kong while he's jumping around the city and destroying all of Hong Kong or whatever nice rotation in the arm nothing in the hands or thing I wish the hands clamped that'd be cool you get some leg articulation which yeah I mean you can get it out thus far it Again, for what these are, it's fantastic articulation for what I'm looking for. You're looking for the most basic, low price type of figure. These are it. Paint them if you want to, but I like the simplicity sometimes in toys. Nice rotation in the tail. Now, Hong Kong battle. Boom. Godzilla hits him right in the chest, right? God, I love that scene. But you kind of slip your finger underneath. He too, or it too, has battle damage. And you get to see all, like, it kind of looks like missile blasts, you know what I mean? But he gets battle damage, and it looks rad. I love these things. They're just fun. Put them on your shelf. Go buy some after you see the movie, if you like the movie. You know what I mean? They're hitting Walmart stores. Now, I do have the Skull Crawler. I got this one previously, ways back when they released some of the figures, something like that. And this is actually, like, I think a re-release of a re-release, so... Yeah, you get some battle damage too, and he is in this line. 
he goes with him. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, these don't compare to NECA toys. No, they don't. And then that's not the purpose of them. Again, turn your brain off. This is for children. Basic, throw these things around, crash them into each other. But kind of like the NECA figure, yeah, he loses <laughs> some of that paint on the backside. What's cool is the Warbat. I think those will go for the most parts if you had NECA figures and you just wanted to get these alternate type monsters. Mega Godzilla, I'll leave that up to you. For what I kind of look at it for, it's fine for what it is. I'm not thinking too much about it. And then, of course, yeah, Godzilla, same thing with Naked Toys. I think all the monsters will go with those as well. You fudge it, you have fun with them. It looks good in a display. Now, if you compare these to Mondo's new release, a couple people said this is expensive and all the paint. You look at the paint, you look at Playmates things, and you understand there's a lot of paint apps. Lots and lots of paints on this guy. Plus, he's incredibly bigger. And I will say this. If you got any of the Jurassic Park Mattel toys, any monster toys within this scale, I think they look pretty cool. So I think you'll have a good time. Kids will have a good time. It's just an overall fun time with this movie. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Godzilla figures. Again, I found them after I'd seen the movie late in the game. I know these have been hitting for a bit, but my Walmart just got them. Actually, then they were just undoing the whole display shipper box thing got to pull the ones that i wanted lots of godzillas and kongs out of variances on them but i think i really do like the hong kong battle figures kong could have had more paint but he is fun but i really like the war bat and i like mecha godzilla as new types of characters for these more basic type playmates lenard godzilla King Kong, Skull Island, all those types of figures. I know they have big figures. I definitely recommend the mega size figures when those hit. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. It's importantly, remember, when it comes to these real simple movie tie-in figures, just have fun with them. Turn your brain off. If you don't want them, walk on by the aisle. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.